a lot of different names, but some of the same colors. Like this is um, Colonial Gold. It's all, I don't know what the other name for it is. Jubirana or something like that? Jubirana, yeah. Mm -hmm. Jubirana, there's Jubirana. Yeah, you've gone through this a lot lately, oh, yeah. haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> um, but there's Jubirana River, Jubirana Gold, Jubirana Gold Light, Jubirana, I mean, there's Jubirana everything. And, and But all those names also have another name right on top of them because not everybody calls it the same thing. Everybody wants to be original and have their own name and sound like they have something that somebody else doesn't. So everybody makes up names and it's really crazy. But about the, I mean, Ubatuba, like Ubatuba is one of the most popular, widely used colors. It's also called Labrador. sink you want to. Um, we actually, oh, we have a, we have an undermount sink and a vanity down there. Um, and um, that's probably our only sink that we have in, in a horse feet. So, um, and I meant to go around and put labels on everything and tell you what all the countertops were, but we had so much stuff sitting down, it was kind of crazy. And, um, but we have four granite countertops in the showroom. This island being one. The island right back there, by Catherine and Steve is one. That vanity back there, that light color is. And the big tall white hutch that you can see over top of the wall, that countertop is also granite. Um, those are the only granites we have in here. Do you have any seams of granite that we can observe? Or you know what? I don't have a seam of granite. I have a seam of quartz, which is in essence the same thing. Okay. So, and, and are there strategies that you employ in designing the kitchen to minimize seams? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's really going to be, um, I mean, we try and work with that a little bit, but it's really the um, the fabricator that works with that too. Um, I mean, it's also you when you go pick out your your slab of granite, because on your granite, you don't just say, I want Ubatuba and be done with it. You go to the granite yard, and you look all through all their, all their slabs, and you'll have to walk by 24 of them to get to Ubatuba. So you may like something, fall in love with something else before you even get to Ubatuba. So, um, but you also want to talk with your person that you walk through the granite yard with and tell them, you know, I'd like to see if I can find a slab that's big enough to fit this without doing a seam. And they can help you with that too. But some kitchens are going to just have to have seams. Anytime you have a corner, usually you're going to have to have a seam. Um, and I say that usually because if, like if this were my L shape, I mean, if there's sort of a little, you could get by with maybe not doing one here, but you, it may be more expensive for you too because they can't cut the slab up the way that they normally would to get more pieces out of it. So sometimes that can be a little bit more or, or costly. Or maybe like changing uh, the, uh, the height of, of the countertop in some places. Right? Yeah, yeah, you're going to, mm-hmm. So, I mean, yeah, you're going to have to put... I mean, if you do a backsplash, too, that also is another piece in, in their slab. But when you go to the granite yard, you're going to look at these big slabs that are, um, I, I mean, they can be like 10 foot yeah. long by 6 foot tall. And, you know, they will try to get you, if you need, say, three slabs, they'll try to get you three slabs that were all cut right back, back to back from each other so that the movement and the color pattern are all the same. So, but... Um, I think one point that actually we were, Daryl and Angie and I were talking about last night, um, and I think it was one of your customers, but a lot of times, especially here, I mean, you'll have just this little 3x3 three three or 4x4 four four yeah. piece, okay? And you can kind of see that this is one big slab, and if we had all of this off, you would see all the movement and the veining. Mm -hmm. um, and I your customer was concerned because she had one little piece that was showing just one little area and was concerned that she wasn't going to have all that other movement in there. She couldn't find a slab that looked exactly like Exactly her like that same problem. Which yes, you just yes. are not going to get that. Um, and, and that's she doesn't why, understand that. 
Because if anybody would like to call her and explain to her, that'd be great. You can do so. And that's why, I mean, we, we have these four by four pieces that you look at, but Angie and I both, I mean, when someone is looking at granite and they're ready to move on, we send them to our, our slab yards because you have to look at that slab to see what all that's going to look like because your little, our little representation is not going to give you the, the best representation of what your countertop is going to And that's exactly like. what it is. It's just a representation. That mm -hmm. is just to get some, and Rosie's been through this quite a bit with me lately too. We're working on a whole plan. We have our cabinet color and we have our, you know, flooring piece that she's got. And then we throw a piece of granite down. Well, okay, we're looking about this color. Sure, you know, we want something in the light colors with maybe some caramel in it or something like that. But my piece, you know, doesn't look exactly like what we're talking about. We're just using that to get a color and an idea for something that she can call them and say, okay, I'm ready to come look at my big granite pieces. I want to look at something like this, you know. And that's really how you need to be when you go to look at the granny yards. As you know, you got to go and kind of be open-minded about it when you go and you're looking at all the pieces. You're, the piece that you've seen with, you know, my little 4 by 3 piece is just a piece of a massive big slab. So it's not going to look the entire same. Like this piece here has this big vein going through it. Well, if I gave my customer just a, or saw, she just saw a slab, you know, of the dark vein and the rest of it was light, you know, it's kind of, it's, I don't want to say a misrepresentation, but it's really just for an idea. So you really have to go to the granny yards. And that's, it's kind of a neat thing, isn't it, it's, Rosie? It's really awesome. Because yeah. you get to see how they cut the edges and... You know, you see the slab and then you see the finished product where somebody has had a vanity made or I saw a beautiful mantle. Uh -huh. And the edging is just amazing. Expensive, but amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it's nuts. You, you just need to go there yeah. because it's very interesting. I mean, when Rosie went to pick out her stuff, she picked out colors that I don't even have samples of. I mean, not one of the colors. And then that I you changed my mind and went back and did it again. <laughs> 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 Which I got that price. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, so you go, and because they get new pieces and slabs in all the time that they found in mountains, or it looks different now than it did three years ago when I got my sample piece. And so, you know, everything, that's why you go and pick it out. And it's really an experience that, I mean, everybody should do or try to do at once, yeah. just because it's very cool. And it, what's cool also is on the slab, if you just have a small cabinet you're doing, or a vanity, you can pick out whether you want that swirl or not. Mm -hmm. You can make it as swirly as you want. Yeah. Which is really cool, and they'll mark it. And, and tape the whole slab off and say, just use this section. Yeah. And so you can kind of customize to a point mm -hmm. of what your top is going to look like. And there are also pieces like um, if they had a big slab, but they have this like 36 inch piece left over as scrap, they'll put it in the remnant yard. And you can go, and if you're just looking for a small piece, you can go and say you're doing your whole kitchen. Well, you can't find a whole kitchen in the scrap yard, but you could find a half bath or a a second vanity or something in their granite yard, and so that's expensive than buying the full slab. So that's kind of a neat thing too. A lot of people will upgrade to do a remnant piece in a, in a room where they didn't think they were going to when they go working at the yard. So where's the yard at? We've got a couple. There's one in Hoagland, and there's one in, which is classic marble and stone, and we have one in Hicksville, which is right down the road, and that's Gordon Creek Granite. That way. Are they all about the same size warehouse? Not. Classic Marble has more, they're bigger, they're a bigger company, they have more slabs. Um, Gordon Creek, um, they definitely, they've kind of doubled since when they started, so they, they have quite a bit now, and more than I even have samples of, but, um, so Classic does have more, but um, sometimes price can kind of weigh on that too. Classic can sometimes be a little more expensive, but they have more and can do more. They do. It's just kind of what you need. Um, what you when want. you seal the pieces now, is there, is I've heard that you don't always have to seal now, or is it the sealant different? Oh, that's a good question. That's yeah, a good that's question, a good and maybe you're talking about two different things, and we can okay. kind of go into <laughs> two, the, both of those. Um, the, I'm, you know what, I'm going to do seam, and then you can do seal if you want. Um, in the seams, oh, and Daryl just walked away, and he could explain oh. this a lot easier than I could, but um, I think right behind Tammy's head, <laughs> it's a quartz top, but...